What you're looking at is Mexico's vampire woman, a lawyer and a mother of four. She's probably the last person you'd expect to fit that role, right? Well, every one of us has a past experience that changes us into who we are today. How we cope with our problems vary, but in her case, liberation and strength comes in the form of extreme body modifications. Which is why in this video, we're gonna learn the dark truth about why Maria Jose Cristerna transformed herself into the Vampire Woman. Maria is a 45 year old tattooist who holds the world's record for being the most modified woman in the world and she's had that title since 2012. She's got 98% of her body covered in tattoos along with a tongue split, the tattooing of her eyeballs, subdermal implants, ear expansions, many piercings, and dental implants giving her fang-like teeth. But she wasn't always like this, so how did it all begin? Maria grew up in Guadalajara, Mexico, notorious for its gang violence, so it definitely wasn't an easy childhood for her. At the age of 12, she got her first piercing, and by the time she was 14, she had her first tattoo. Maria was instantly attracted to it and knew she wanted to be a tattoo artist. However, in order to please her parents, she studied law and became a lawyer. In her early years, Maria's parents got divorced and that left her devastated. Being young and feeling lonely, she wanted to fill a void and that's when she met her first husband. She describes it as, when you're in that state of mind, whoever makes you laugh, you fall in love. By the time she was 17, she got married and this is where it all started going downhill. Her marriage was good the first year, but after that, her husband's true color started to show because he was an extremely jealous man who would mentally and physically abuse her. However, despite that, she decided to stick by his side. A few years passed and she was pregnant with her first daughter, but due to severe abuse, she ended up giving birth a couple of months earlier than expected. Maria wanted out of that relationship, but still didn't have the courage to go through with it. Instead, she turned her focus to body modifications and knew that's what she wanted out of life. Still working as a lawyer, having to cover up her tattoos in court as a sign of respect and obvious protocols, she was growing fed up. So she decided to transition from that career and pursue her real passion, which was being a tattoo artist. Maria took it upon herself to meet with experts to teach her the art of tattooing. With every single tattoo and modification she got, it meant she was one step closer to freedom and leaving her husband. However, each time she tried to leave, she would end up forgiving him and fall into the same old trap. He would change and for a while it would be good, but then it would all start over again getting much worse. On top of all of that, he didn't even support her or their children financially either. She was the one paying for most of the bills. One interviewer asked, if he treated you this way and you didn't need him financially, why did you stand by him for so long? She said, because all women we do the same, we're afraid. With the birth of her fourth child and the final abusive incident that happened, enough was enough. After 10 long miserable years, she wasn't gonna allow this to ever happen again. So she ended up leaving for good. Once she left, her modifications started getting more extreme. To her, this was all a sign of courage, strength and liberation from her past. And the majority of those modifications stand for something. For example, the four eyes tattooed on her legs are to represent her kids keeping an eye on her. Her face tattoos came after the passing of her mother and it's a way for her to remember her by. Saying she's always told me to look up at the stars if I had a problem and that she would be there to help me. The fangs are like a fantasy coming to life because of her love for vampires as a child. She describes having horns as being a new identity and strength for her. And her eyes are a part of looking like what she's always wanted to. It's like being her true self. As she transformed her body more, she started getting the attention of pretty much everyone around. People gave her the nickname, The Vampire Woman. This started out as an insult and it actually really hurt her. However, she decided to run with it and fit into that role, creating this sort of persona and giving herself a platform and a voice. Her TV appearances have made her into a celebrity and she intends to use every bit of her influence to bring more attention to domestic abuse and shine a light on her past, saving others from going through what she went through. Now, the people that may not know her, look at her and assume she worships the devil or something like that. However, that's simply not true. Maria grew up in a religious Catholic family and says religion is a very important part of her life. And as for what she does these days, she currently owns a tattoo studio. She's also a painter and designer who makes custom clothing and jewelry, traveling the world and giving hope, strength and courage to people that need it. 
The ones that know her will attest and also agree that she's a huge role model and leader for the community and the children. She claims all of her modifications and tattoos are nothing but an image and it's important for people to get to know the person on the inside rather than judge a person based on their appearance. Maria says God lives inside her and believes that her identity is defined by her actions and the treatment of others. Personally, I think it's fantastic what she's doing for the community. But let me know what your thoughts are on Maria as a whole. Can you understand what she's gone through to reach this stage of her life or not really? Do you think there's more behind the story of her appearance? Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for a lot more content like this. As always, I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.